Okay. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Just need to clean up a little bit. Okay, friends and followers, and welcome back to the Graph Samber. I'm so happy that you like the Black Book series so much because of just one reason. Um, I have no I have no videos left in my pipeline and I'm recording now at the same day like I will um, release the videos. So I'm very happy about the fact that showing a black book is so easy. And I have a lot of them and you wanted that I show the black books in a chronological in a chronological way. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I will start. I will just make 10 minutes and after the 10 minutes I will uh, continue in another video that will probably be there just in the next year. Let's start. Let's start. Ah, there's so much stuff inside here. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't seen the, the first video about the black books, it is linked over there. So, and now let's start with all the bigger graffitis. These are some kind of the graffitis that I um, glued into the book, but I put this one here in this folder because they were just too big. Okay, here, this is a first character of me. Muscle Mutant Shack. Quite cool. I was always a little bit better in um, characters than in style writing because I uh, painted my first my first comic books uh, even before I was able to write and I was filling the speech bubbles just with fantasy letters. Loaded MP, it's my take man. <laughs> I painted this one even before I knew that the word tag is written uh, T-A-G and not T-A-K-E. But this is a quite good simple style. It has some kind of a block. Uh, yeah, why not? It's cool. E-A-S. European Anubis styles. Why? I don't know why. But it has there. This was some kind... I was trying to make something like taking handwritten stuff. Amen. I painted this graffiti in the religion school lessons. I was sitting there and I thought, okay, let's paint Amen. And a funny fact is that until this time, I never saw any graffiti in the internet or something because internet, I didn't have any access to the internet at this time. Uh, this was 99, I would say it's about 1999 when I started to sketch and to deal with this graffiti stuff. But what you can see here, it is a quite good arrangement of letters, a cool fill-in, some kind of a cap character skull, and it all has this big theme, religion theme, with a church in the background, yeah. Yeah, and this was, uh, like you can see, this was one of, the, of, of my school papers. Freak. I still remember that I painted this one at the same day. This was the religion lesson and this was the biology lesson. Quite quite good. It's not that bad. This were my first tryouts with wild style. Yeah, and first this is a hundred <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this is a hundred percent a bite. This is a bite, really. This is a bite. I, I was biting there some elements like like this here, and I was biting uh, the S, and I was biting some other stuff. And you can write down in the in the comments below what you think which very famous writer uh, was the inspiration for this one here. And he painted together with Can 2. The inspiration for this graffiti was the first graffiti magazine that I got. There was one wall from Can 2 and this guy. I won't tell you the name. And I was so impressed by this wall that I just tried to make something similar. Yeah, and this is a photo of me. This is how I was looking at this time. Here, this is me. Cute, <laughs> cute smoke. <laughs> ah, so funny. MGR. Yeah, 
This is the same skull like this one here, but I didn't even remember this graffiti. MGR, MGR. Some other weird stuff, different names. Ibis. Why? I don't know why. And it is all made just with, uh, just with pencils. No markers, all these fadings, it's all the outlines, it's all made with pencils. No. Okay, here I, I made here the, the outlines with a fine liner. Here is the, the character that I showed you in the last episode. The green guy. Oh, I, I thought that I never painted the word style in my life, but I painted it. <laughs> oh god, I will post this today on Instagram. I wanna make a photo. Cool. Yeah. Here he is again, Anubis. And Anubis, this was my first graffiti name. This was just because of the reason that I thought that I'm such a really cool guy that I deserve the name of the god of death from the Egyptians. It's Anubis, the, the guy with the head of a, of a dog. But perspective and everything, an explosion in the background, it is quite good. It's not that bad. Maybe I will do something with it one day. In the next year I will think I will paint something of this on the wall. Anubis again. Different tryouts of different styles. Working a lot with this fadings and balls and 3D things. I still remember it. We did a camping holidays and I was laying there in the tent and I bought this uh, this pencils and some fine liners and I was sketching the whole holidays. Or 3D stuff or ugly stuff. I was really proud about this one. I thought that this is a real good uh, simple style. But it is not. Then I tried some other 3D stuff with this um, blocks in different in different angles, and it's, it's not it's not that bad. If you would paint this on a wall, it would look quite good. And at this time, I was I was uh, watching through graffiti magazines the whole day. I was laying on the floor in my kids room with, with graffiti magazines, all my money that I had, I was just buying graffiti magazines and I was soaking, soaking everything that was in there out with my brain and analyzing it and thinking about what can I copy like this pencil. I don't, I don't remember who was the guy that painted a graffiti with an eye as a pencil, but I thought I have to do this too. Anubis oh, here dinosaurs quite cool dinosaurs painted dinosaurs like that very very often oh man I've got a whole graffiti comic that I can show you <laughs> okay I will just I will make a teaser again I think the 10 minutes are over already that was not so much I will just show you some more like this one here it's not that good or this one or this one Anubis styles or this one or this one oh this was against Nazis or this one yeah and now I will show you One of the bigger black books, like this one here, with some very cool uh, graffitis inside there. And I painted a whole graffiti, uh, a whole graffiti comic inside there with this guy who was painting some graffiti and suddenly there a uh, dinosaur appeared there. And I will show you this in some of the next episodes. <laughs> okay. 
cool, cool. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of showing my black box old stuff from 1999 and 2000, about this time. Uh, this was long time before internet, this was long time before... Um, what was it? Before the internet? I think the first of them... I uploaded even some of them on, on my first graffiti sharing page and it was called graffitiart.de yeah very cool uh we will continue this in the next year or probably or maybe one day after tomorrow that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it and uh i hope to see you back tomorrow in yes.